So we've known for quite some time now that Marvel is working on an Iron Man game and it's being developed and published by EA, specifically from Motive Studio, the guys who just recently did the Dead Space remake. And I mean, that Dead Space remake was incredibly well reviewed, so there is a lot to look forward to here and I am so excited to see what this Iron Man game is going to become and we're getting little trickles of news for it. I know for a lot of people it seems that that Iron Man game is a bit of a ways away, but I'm glad that we're getting some information about it and today is a doozy. You see, on top of speculation, that the Marvel's Iron Man game is going to be open world, we now might know a big piece of info for the game that's going to be very exciting for people who are looking forward to get their hands on this. But before we jump into everything, if you're looking forward to this Iron Man game, if you cannot wait to see all the content here on this channel for the game, scroll down, hit the thumbs up button, share your excitement with me, and let's get 3,000 likes. And with that being said, let's get into this now. I talked about this previously in a video. Marvel's Iron Man is expected to be an open world game which is something that i am personally very happy about and that came specifically from some job postings that were hinting that people needed to have qualifications or experience with open world games and open world dialogue so you know we got that little hint but i will mention that that doesn't necessarily mean confirmation it's pretty much as close as we can get to that but it doesn't necessarily mean that yes this game is going to be open world and i only want to preface that because today's news sort of is the same thing although i think this one leads to stronger evidence than the open world argument you see because right now over on the ea website you can apply for an audio slash software developer working for marvel's iron man game at ea it mentions here in the job posting our motive is to create innovative action games with iconic worlds where every player feels like the hero let's say that again iconic worlds where every player feels like the hero. That's already great to hear that Motive Studio is so dedicated to making this Iron Man game feel like something that genuinely puts us in the boots of the tin suit. But it also mentions on the website here, our passion has taken us from imagining dogfighter pilots in Star Wars Squadron to recreating Isaac Clarke on board the Ishimura in Dead Space, and now to building an original Iron Man action adventure video game. Yeah, they got a good track record right now at Motive Studio, and Dead Space Remake is currently being lobbied from a lot of people as a game of the year contender so i think we are in really good hands for anybody out there that is apprehensive simply by hearing that ea is the publisher for this game plus just in general look at ea's recent track record they've done a good job at winning back a lot of people after all the goodwill that they had lost from what they did back in the day. I personally believe that Marvel's Iron Man is gonna be more in line with what EA has published from the Star Wars Jedi games. You know, we had Jedi Fallen Order and more recently Jedi Survivor, which were both extremely well received. And both of those are single player action adventure games, which is exactly what Marvel's Iron Man is being described as. So I think a lot of people just need to take a second look here because what Motive has done this year with the Dead Space remake and what EA has done as a publisher in the last couple of years really lead to some great great signs for this Iron Man game. But here's the big one. Here's the juiciest part of this job application, which is the big news for today's video. It mentions here that Motive is looking for an audio software developer to join its Iron Man team using Unreal Engine 5. As an audio software developer, you will play a crucial role in designing, implementing, and optimizing audio systems and features to create an immersive and realistic gaming experience. You will collaborate closely with audio designers, pro programmers and other team members to ensure the highest quality audio integration and functionality. That's right, it looks like Marvel's Iron Man game is being built using the latest tech. It's using Unreal Engine 5, and I feel like that is very in line with an Iron Man game to use the most up-to-date stuff when it comes to technology. And I don't know if you guys have had a glimpse as to what Unreal Engine 5 is capable of, but man, a game being built from the ground up, potentially for next-gen consoles only, with Unreal Engine 5 is something that should be extremely exciting for you guys to hear. It'd be just as exciting as it would be to subscribe to this channel right now and turn on those notifications so that I can keep you guys up to date on all things related to this Iron Man game. But yeah, it even mentions in the job posting that for responsibilities, you need to have integration and implementation, collaborate with audio designers to integrate audio assets, implement sound effects, music, voiceovers, and interactive audio elements using Unreal Engine 5. And under the qualifications tab for the job posting, it says that you need proficiency in Unreal Engine 5's audio system, including working with audio components, audio graphs, sound cues, 
and Unreal's Blueprints visual scripting. I don't know much of what that means. I am not a game developer, but for anybody out there who is an audio software developer, if you want to apply for this job, I'll make sure that there's a link in the description box below. Regardless though, I am incredibly hyped that this game is going to be using Unreal Engine 5 and will potentially be open world. You need an open world game if you're going to make something for Iron Man. We need that sandbox to free roam around in. And now knowing that that sandbox might be built up with Unreal Engine 5, holy smokes, I cannot wait to see what this game looks like. How it performs there's so much to look forward to again looking back to january that dead space remake people still think about it right now in the conversation for game of the year this year so we can only imagine when we get that iron man game that could be a game of the year contender as well i'm just really looking forward to seeing what the story is going to be about what alternate suits are going to be included all the different fun elements that are always added into these superhero games but i wonder what motive is going to do to give their own spin on that and with that being said now i want to kick it to you guys sound off with your thoughts in the comments section below what do you think about all this information here in today's video first of all are you excited that the iron man game will potentially be an open world game and second of all what do you think about the iron man game using unreal engine 5 i want to hear everything you guys have to say in the comments section below if you enjoyed today's video hit that thumbs up button i've been caboose and i'll see you guys later